You're listening to The John and Heidi Show. Now, featuring the wit and wisdom of Dan Ferris. Okay, dudes, let's walk this sucker. On Sunny 93.3. Sunny 93.3, thank you so much for listening to The John and Heidi Show bonus hour with Mr. Dan Ferris. How you doing, Dan? Oh, hey, guys. Morning. Everything good? Everything's yes. great. Everything good. Fantastic. I'm feeling better. Heidi's feeling better. I mean, spring is here. How could it get any better? Everybody's on the mend. Hey, you know. You had kids, I raised kids, and then uh, I, I had the honor of uh, this past November bouncing down to Florida where my uh, daughter lives with my two grandkids. Yeah. And boy, brought back memories, my little grandson. Him, Grandpa. What? Can you read me a bedtime story? Sure. <laughs> and it what was, was your story of choice? Co- uh, actually, he wanted a little uh, cat in the hat, actually. Oh, I love those nice. little Dr. Seuss. But I remember reading Luke, Luke and Sadie, and they always kind of wanted the same book. We'd have, you know, Good yep. Night Moon, and then blah, 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 whatever, but they always had favorites. And uh, there are some amazing child's books out there, and I have a couple titles that maybe you're not aware of. Oh, All I'd right. love and to If hear you're these. a new mommy or daddy, reading to your kid is just a most excellent idea. It's it is. It's great for bonding. It's good for kind of making them start understanding. And to fall in love with reading as well. So. Yep, that's all there is to it. What uh, are the titles you have? And here? I grew up with the, the Dick and Jane series books. Oh, yeah, yeah. I remember and those. Dick and Jane and Puff and Spot and Sally and all that kind of yeah. thing. Uh, I may have co-authored this. No one can prove whether I did or not. Daddy drinks because you cry. <laughs> <laughs> Very popular. I think that's available on Amazon. Is it really? <laughs> also, uh, The Night Mommy Went to Jail. <laughs> Another big title. No, it's not going to get any better when you grow up. <laughs> <laughs> I actually bought one for my sister-in-law after we spent a vacation time um, together, all at the same vacation house. It was. And it was son rough, would man. Not, like he, he would wouldn't not go to sleep. sleep. And I, found, I know the title. <laughs> yes, go the f to sleep. Yes, and I bought it for her. And it's a very it popular is a great, book. It's a great book, actually. I absolutely love it. It's very funny and. You know, the there are people who write children's books who I'll bet if you ask them, I bet they ha- they all have ideas for books that they would never put out because it would ruin their career. Yeah, but they have ideas for them. Yeah, because they're based on truth. Yeah, but they have ideas for books, but they're like, oh, no, there's no way I could do that. I have to do it under a pseudonym. I'd have to mm-hmm. say my name is something like Dan Ferris to get away with that. <laughs> certainly an art to children's books. Not as easy as you think. To write. So they what seem was your very favorite book when but, you were a uh, kid, John? You know, honestly, I don't remember... Reading until I was about 25 years old. Mom didn't read you books? I don't know. She probably did. I don't remember that, though. I really don't remember any books. I had two that were I read over and over and over again that my mom read to me. One was called The House in the Hole in the Side of the Tree. And it was a Christian book about um, being nice to your neighbors. Like, they kept coming over wanting to borrow things, and he was always screaming at them. And then at the end, it turns out they were borrowing tools because they were building him a new house because his was falling apart. Oh, wow. So it was, a, it was a really great book, and we read that over and over. And then the other one was Little Black Sambo. Those got tossed nephew. out of libraries yeah. and banned and everything else. I, I, I got to, to do an audio book for one. It was just called Little Sambo. Yeah, that stuff. So yeah, out there. It. I remember that stuff. Thanks for listening to Sunny 93.3. Is your credit card a good fit for you? How did you even get the card you have now? Was it mailed to you? Those are usually the worst cards. They typically have higher fees and rates. Someone has to pay all that postage to mail out millions of cards every day. If you like a better credit card, check out the website bettercreditcards.net. This is a great place to find the cards that are usually a better fit for you. Bettercreditcards.net. That's bettercreditcards.net. Sunny 93.3. Time now for Manly Man doing manly things in a manly fashion. Manly man are we. This is an easy one. It's a great one. Guys, I don't care if you're terrible in the kitchen, you don't like the cooking thing, you should know how to do one signature dish. Yeah. One. Some just one dish you're really good at. I don't care if it's tacos. I don't care if it's spaghetti, spaghetti and meatball, whatever the case yeah. may be. And every now and again, whip that together. For the little lady of your dreams or the fam or whatever. Mm -hmm. They'll think you're pretty cool. You'll feel good about it. John, do you have any special dish that really stands out where you go, you know what? I'm making this because nobody does it like me. Um, I like making breakfast. He always makes breakfast. Breakfast. I've I've seen you in action. You are darn good at it. I have some nephews that uh, every time they would come to our house, we would make pancakes because kids like pancakes. So for a while, they would call me Uncle Pancake. Which I didn't like, and I'm glad that quit. (laughs) Sounds kind of like a bad rapper name. Uncle Pancake. (laughs) And I'm like, yeah, let's not have that one stick. But what I would do is I would mix up the batter a little thinner than normal, and then I would pour the pancakes into shapes. 
And the kids love that. So I'd make a, what do you want? I want a squirrel. And I'd make a squirrel. How about you? What do you want? I want a horse. I'd make it. And I'm like, which one was the squirrel and which one was the horse? <laughs> they tell look, the difference. In pancake form, they look a lot yeah, alike. I get it. Well, that's, that's pretty squirrel's smooth. Squirrel's legs though. are a little shorter, I guess. but that's Pretty smooth. That's a crowd pleaser. It was fun stuff. So it's I, like I enjoyed rainbow that. macaroni and cheese. It's yeah. a signature thing. <laughs> that's what I mean. <laughs> yes. That one dish where every now and again, somebody in your life goes, uh, hey, I really like it if you'd make boop. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. There, there. My beautiful bride over here has a really good stuffing that she does at Thanksgiving time. Mm-hmm. There you go. So when we're having some sort of get together, I have at least one sister in law and usually a couple of people that will say, "Hey, Heidi's can you make stuffing, sure Heidi right? brings a stuffing? Do you want her to bring me as well, or am, am I <laughs> optional? As long as she brings a stuffing, you can stay home. We really don't need you. We already have a turkey. Fantastic. Yeah, I was never that fortunate. I was, uh, you know, when I'm. I come from what's it called a disconnected family. And I was married a number of years, whatever, and uh, yeah, absolutely, she could not not cook anything. Oh, oh she cooked my goose in court. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 nice. Oh, but the good news is he had some leftovers. <laughs> Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show. This has been Manly Man doing manly things in a manly fashion. Do you have a pretty good sense of humor? You might like this. Early in the morning, each day and every day, we share something weird to make people laugh at weirdgiftoftheday.com. You don't need to sign up for anything. You don't even need to spend a penny. Just follow the page on Facebook and get a smile to start each day when we share the weird gift of the day. Not on Facebook? That's okay. You can see the weird gifts on our website too. Weirdgiftoftheday.com That's weirdgiftoftheday.com Sunny 93.3. Time now for Water Cooler Talk brought to you by Aqua One. What do we have today, Mr. Dan Ferris? Okay, we go up and down national news, I mean, they start lacing together kind of the same terms, and certainly in the last few years, it's been bombshell. There's a bombshell report, bombshell right. this, bombshell yeah. development. Shocking news. Bombshell. And so I never use that cliche, except this kind of is a, a bombshell. Is it shocking news, it, too? I, I thought it was when I tripped across it, and again, I haven't verified this yet, but I'm going to throw it out there, and you're on your own, because I think it's totally legit. So wait a minute, you're, you're going to stoop to the uh, the reporting I am. of cable news networks? I am, and John, it's only because your name is on this particular broadcast license for this station. <laughs> Great. And I just walk, so whatever. I'm going to just get my speed, my uh, lawyer on speed dial. You just go ahead and start reading. But this has, as far as I know, just primarily has to do with uh, South Dakota, Minnehaha County, city of Sioux Falls. Okay. okay, so say you're at Cova Lake and there's all those ducks there. Maybe you go to the zoo, the open water, there's ducks there on the river, ducks would... Government officials don't want us to know this. What's that? Those ducks are free. What do you mean they're free? You just take a duck. You can just take it? You can take a couple ducks. Take 400 ducks. <laughs> Those don't just, belong to just anyone? Just take them home. No. They don't belong to anybody. No, they it's don't. Not like they bought the ducks and put no, them there. No, no. They fly in. They no. fly out. What would I do if I took one of those ducks? I don't know. And see, there's nothing that says you have to. I'm just saying you can. <laughs> <laughs> they're free. <laughs> Three ducks. Put That's them in your yard. Enough. Put them on your porch. Put them in your bathtub. Nobody That's, cares. That, that matter, the geese are free too. If you can get geese close are free to too. Grab one. Here's the thing: that should actually be in the literature that they put out for reasons to move to Sioux Falls. But that's the thing: government doesn't want people to know. Oh, see. down low. That's so. it. So it's the hush-hush. It's, hush. it's the man trying to keep us hey. down. Hey, move to Sioux Falls. Why? Because you get free ducks. That's it. There you go. Yeah, and that's wrong, too. Like, you go to the zoo and you see all those ducks on that open one. Those aren't zoo ducks. Those are, diff- <laughs> those are free ducks those that are, are just are visiting ducks. the zoo? You just stuff one in your coat. I don't so care. So if you grab a duck while you're at the zoo and you try mm-hmm. walking out, you're telling me they won't stop me? They, they have no, they have no absolutely right no recourse. <laughs> no, they try to push out or you just go, hey, free duck, out of my way. Anybody who attempts this, you didn't hear it here. <laughs> it's bombshell. <laughs> That's a bombshell, all right. And it is also shocking news. <laughs> public, public service, Sunny 93.3. You're don't, welcome. We don't need our name attached to this. <laughs> all right, coming up, we have entertainment news of the day. Hopefully it's a little more, you know, truthful and... <laughs> actually happens kind of stuff. Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show Bonus Hour. His name is Dan Ferris. Prove me wrong. (laughs) On Sunny 93.3. If drug and alcohol problems are hitting you too close to home, you can get help. It's time for rehab. Your insurance may even cover everything. Learn more at timeforrehab.com. Get help for a drug or alcohol problem within 24 hours. Call now to learn more at 1-800-290-0759. That's 1-800-290-0759.
888-900-0759. Or get more information at timeforrehab.com. Sunny 93.3, time now for entertainment news of the day with Mr. Dan Ferris. And- oh, I got so jacked up about this. My screen just went blank. Thank goodness I have just a bear trap memory. Oh, I good. read this story earlier. You're familiar with Will Smith. I've heard of him, yes. yes. Kind of a big deal. Fresh Prince of yeah. Bel-Air. Kind of a big deal, yep. And uh, Martin Lawrence. Yeah, yeah Martin Lawrence. Okay. Yeah. What do they have in common? They were in we'll Bad Boys see. together. And the sequel. Bad Boys 2. Bad Boys 3 is, is being made right is now. Is it really? Really? 15 years after Bad Boys 2. Yep, they're doing you, another one. Do you know who the original Bad Boys were going to be? I have no idea. Um, originally, John Lovitz, I believe, was one of them. It was, it was two white <laughs> really? guys. And and there was a scene in the movie that says, uh, don't Lovitz. be alarmed, we're black. That wouldn't have been a part of the original movie, of course. But it was a, a comedy. And then uh, Bruckheimer, Simpson and Bruckheimer did this together. And I read this whole article about it. It was pretty fascinating where... Somewhere along the way, they changed the the concept and said, "Hey, what if we have these guys instead?" It was a phenomenal movie, and well, then they both the would they have great chemistry. Good. I thought they were yeah. fun. Yeah. I think Lovitz would have been great in it, though. Too, it I would think have been it, an interesting. It would have been really take. funny to because it was going to be John Lovitz. I it, think he's hilarious. It was going to be kind of a funny cop show, and right. it was still a funny cop show, but a little more serious than funny. Right. It was going to be a lot more funny than serious. Hmm. So I'm trying to think of who the other one was. John Lovitz and somebody else. Billy Crystal, maybe? I don't remember. I'll have to Google it now, Can't I suppose. imagine. But yeah, let's see. Smith is, uh, Will Smith's 50. Lawrence yeah. is uh, 53 now. And I think that thing's going to uh, hit the screens, I believe, in January. So, That's awesome. Yeah. And there's Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventures 3 is coming up, yeah, too. Yeah, I just saw I that, too. I am so excited about that. I saw Keanu Reeves and, uh, what's the other gentleman's name? Jonathan Winter. There you go. Those two were doing... And a, Alex Winter. Uh, yeah, they were, yeah, Jonathan Winters is a different dude. <laughs> Alex, Alex Winter. Winter. <laughs> they were doing their big announcement from the Hollywood Bowl. Uh, talking about uh, the fact that it was coming out. So I think that's really cool. What was old is now new again. I yeah. think that's really neat. Well, new generation can turn into it and think it's brand new. Yeah, they're that's like, right. this is so great. Uh, there was a comment online one time from iCarly, some kid's show on Nickelodeon back yeah. in the day, and uh, and somebody posted a video of Lucille Ball from I Love Lucy doing it, and the lady said, this girl said, she stole this idea from iCarly. <laughs> <laughs> that's <laughs> like, right. Uh, that's right. No, not quite. Good try. Well, this has been our entertainment news. Thank you so much, Mr. Dan Ferris. Absolutely. Thanks for having me, guys. And you forgot to do the whole snapping thing. Uh, oh. uh, celebrities are fabulous. I dropped the ball there. I'm such a loser. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. Wouldn't be the same without it. Thanks for listening to Sunny 93.3.